Yo, 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 what is up guys, your boy Asian Mix, welcome to the channel, if you're new, welcome back, if you're not, and today we're going to be talking about Overwatch 2 and the leaks that we got yesterday um, that were as equally exciting as they were disappointing, uh, but before we get into it, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, you enjoy the content, and yeah, let's get into it. So, yesterday we got K Kiriko revealed to us, or leaked to us, Kiriko is the new support hero for Overwatch 2, she looks pretty damn good, pretty damn impressive, I gotta admit, I'm really excited for uh, implementation in the game, however, how we're gonna be getting Kiriko is the controversial part, um, and let's just kinda get into what was leaked on that side of things when it comes to the Season 1 Premium Battle Pass for Overwatch 2. So, reading out, um... The leaks, right? And this leak specifically was a change to the description on the watch point pack. Um, so as you guys can see here, um, you still see, you know, the things that are included in the watch point pack and things like that. But getting to the meat of what was added, it says with the season one premium battle pass, you can unlock over 80 tiers of rewards, including mythic cyber demon Genji. So that confirms the mythic cyber demon uh, skin that we saw. Um, or further confirms because we already seen it and it was coming in the game uh, from the you know Overwatch 2 conference uh, I guess event that we had um, and then it says legendary Hinotori Kiriko which is going to be a legendary skin for Kiriko and more in addition as a season one premium pass battle owner you will automatically receive access to Overwatch watch's latest hero Kiriko. So I'm sure you guys um, can kind of see where where we're going with this the, with this video, <laughs> um, and and where they're kind of going with this, especially if you've played Overwatch before, um, and if you haven't, Overwatch um, One is um, or it was a paid game essentially. Overwatch Two is going to be free to play. So there were some changes that Blizzard was going to have to make uh, monetization wise. Um, but for the longest time, us Overwatch players really haven't had to deal with something like this where um, essentially heroes were going to be locked behind a battle pass or any type of obstacle like that. Um, and I think that's where a lot of the friction is going to come from, that that's something that we've never had to deal with. And even in this form, um, I'm, there's a lot of concerns, especially when it comes to ranked play and things like that, and even down to counterpicking um, for the long term. Of it. You know, this is just the beginning, but what happens when we have, you know, in a year or two from now, we have like 10, he 10 new heroes to the original roster, um, and it's like, oh, shoot, you know, those two, 10 new heroes might just be, you know, meta-defining. And it's like, if you're a new player and you got to grind out every single one of those heroes and things like that, it's it, it can be rough, especially the newer heroes, which often are a lot more oppressive um, and a lot more, you know, or really like undertuned when it comes to their interactions with other heroes in the game. Right. Um, but also some further, uh, you know, news before we continue on with uh, all my kind of um, opinions on all of it. I did want to add this in because this was extra news that we got. Of course, these are leaks, so they had Blizzard had to do a little bit of damage control. But John Spector, who is the, um, I want to say he is the uh, Overwatch commercial leader and VP at Blizzard. I just read that on his Twitter. There you go. <laughs> um, he um, addressed these leaks as well when it comes to the battle pass because there was a lot of outrage, as you um, could expect, um, could probably expect. Um, but he said this. Addressing some incomplete info posted early about our Overwatch 2 Battle Pass, we'll be sharing all details ahead of launch, but wants to confirm that new Overwatch 2 heroes will be available on the free track of the Battle Pass. Um, so just to break that down a little bit. So um, that kind of confirms that when it comes to the Battle Pass, we'll have kind of two tracks. We'll have the regular free track, and then we'll have the Premium Pass. If you get the Premium Pass, you'll instantly unlock the new hero, and then you have all the cosmetics. Um, but the free track is going to be more than likely where we get to, like, we have to grind to level 50 um, to get the new hero. And the problem inherent with, inherently with that is that kind of makes the game pay to win, which is kind of what I what I was kind of alluding to and mentioning earlier um, in the video, where when something like that, when that type of barrier is there, um, if we're talking about ranked competitive specifically, um, the game is counterpick heavy, Right. Um, when it comes to the game, like you, you're gonna, you're encouraged, especially with the, I hit my mic. I'm sorry. I don't know if you guys heard that, but you're encouraged to, um, essentially switch heroes, especially with the new DPS passive. So it's like, um, you know, what if like you don't have a hero and that hero is, is, is needed for your team comp or maybe needed to win a fight or maybe, um, it's vice versa where the other hero is just kind of demolishing you on, on, on ranked right now. 
it, it kind of just ruins the rank experience because it's like, oh, I haven't unlocked the character yet. I'm not at level 50. And the question is going to be that it's going to be a, a matter of time versus money. And if the time that someone would have to spend to get the new hero in the battle pass is, is too much, it, it, it will completely, it, it could easily topple the entire you know, meta and, and ranked experience in the game. And uh, also just continue on with the, with uh, you know, the things on Twitter that John Spector revealed to us. Um, a YouTuber named Dorwolf also asked a question. He said, he asked, what happens if you don't reach that specific tier in the battle pass? Are you forever locked from using that hero because you weren't grinding at that specific period of time? And uh, John Spector responded with this. Um, we will have free pass to get new heroes in future seasons too. So another concern that I had personally was, you know, what if someone doesn't complete the battle pass in the, you know, regular season? You know, how would they get the hero afterwards? And he confirmed that we'll have, you know, a way to get those heroes in the future. Um, but it still goes back to because Overwatch, the type of game that Overwatch is and, and Blizzard's track history with new heroes, like when, for example, like Sigma got dropped into the game, Sigma was just dominant. Any support that gets in the game eventually just becomes dominant. You know what I mean? Like any, so we've seen it with Sojourn and, and Junker Queen with Overwatch 2 already that when a new hero gets in the game, they just become dominant to, you know, competitive team comps. Um, it really does, you know, beg the question of like, how 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 that's going to be handled and I, and I mean it's not even how it's going to be handled but how it's going to ex affect the player experience when it comes to ranked um and, and of course on the casual level like it doesn't matter that much it kind of sucks but I think casual players don't really mind just grinding out you know certain characters or heroes and, and getting them whatever we're kind of used to that from like games like Valorant and Apex but the difference is bet uh, from those two games to Overwatch is in those games you're not able to switch mid-fight and in those games, guns are, I'd say, arguably sometimes more important than um, the different abilities that those characters have in those games. And in Overwatch, you know, whatever a hero's kit is a hero's kit, and you have to switch to get a different kit. Like, you don't have the ability to use the same type of guns um, on a different hero with different abilities. It's like, no, 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 you have to, you know, play another character if you want a different kit. Um, and, and we can switch in the middle of our games, which is something that can't happen in Apex and Valorant, which is, I know is an argument that was kind of being made, um, on, on Twitter and all the socials and stuff regarding this topic. But let me know in the comments what you guys think, um, you know, what you guys think about this, this new future of Overwatch and, you know, what's going to be happening in Overwatch 2. I had to talk about this, you know, specifically because, man, I'm taking this personally, man. This is support. I'm a support man in Overwatch. And then they're doing Kitty Go like that, bro. Like, come on, DPS got... Sojourn, no problem. Tanks got a uh, Junker Queen, no problem. But support's got to deal with this, and it's kind of crazy. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, and yeah, man, <sighs> Overwatch Two is gonna be interesting, man. It's gonna be interesting. But all right, peace. Those who making noise, we shooting the movie, the show, the promo, we shooting the boys in the black and white photo, we shooting the ops in the all black G T. Can't you see that we live it, yeah?